Early 2020, the pandemic hit. It was an expected lockdown that lasted far longer than anyone had expected. It affected the entire planet, including the sectors of businesses, education, health, and of course, artists were no exception. It really changed their approach to their art, and as a photographer and filmmaker, I felt very limited by the lockdown. The pandemic resulted in us experiencing a deprivation from human interaction and feeling stuck at home, doing the same thing over and over. If you know me personally, I don't like to limit my creativity. I always seek to learn new things and make the best out of my abilities. And this pushed me to look for alternative options. By the time of the new year of 2021 came by, I decided to finally learn Blender, a 3D software that I've always been fascinated by. I remember two years ago, I opened this software and gave up the next day. This time I promised myself that whatever happens, I will keep going. And the results were shocking. Hey everyone, this is K1 and in this video I'm gonna talk about how I learned 3D within three months creating artwork like this, this, or this. I mean, you get the point. It's been exactly over two months since my last video and since then I probably haven't touched my camera. I haven't had a proper photo shoot. I am starting to forget how to manually adjust my camera, which is kind of bad, but all that because I am dangerously obsessed with creating 3D artworks. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for over six years and I've never, I've never gotten this many requests on making a video about how I learned 3D. So keep in mind, tutorials are coming and potentially a course. But before we do that, there are some major things you need to know about 3D and here's my disclaimer. When I say 3D, I'm basically referring to Blender 3D. I haven't used any other software. So far, all my creation have been done with Blender and the good news is that is free to download. So you can go to the link in the description, download Blender and start right now. Before anything, let's just quickly go over to the definition of 3D art. So what is 3D art? 3D art is created by manipulating polygon meshes and molding and sculpting them into objects, characters and scenes. It is used pretty much in everything from print ads to websites, televisions, movies, video games and beyond. And most people who began learning how to do 3D have some kind of background in drawing and sketching. And in my case, cinematography and photography. And as I mentioned, I didn't want to jump on making tutorials right away without any context because there are some major things you need to know before starting to learn 3D. The first thing is you might actually need a good performing PC. You actually need. Personally, I started learning Blender using my MacBook because I didn't have PC back then. And within Blender, you have three render engines and the main ones are Cycle and Eve. Some people uh, pronounce Eve as Eevee, but I'm just gonna go with Eve because it's just easier for me. So what is the biggest difference between Cycle and Eve? The, there are some differences that I can talk about and go on, but the main ones are with Cycle, you get realistic light simulation. And for that, you need a good GPU to render on. But with Eve, it is real-time rendering where the light simulation is not as realistic, which is, in my opinion, a great way to start learning, to understand the basic, to get used to the whole ecosystem within Blender. I don't wanna undermine Eve in any way. It's, uh, it's, it was actually the first thing I used, and these are some of the artworks I made with Eve. I mean, not that bad, right? <laughs> with Cycle, you get realistic light simulation. With Eve, it's not as realistic. These are the main differences for me, at least. Uh, you can go, there are some YouTube videos that would explain everything. I also have a good friend of mine, Toby, who made a super cool short film entirely rendered on Eve. I will leave the link in the description box below. I highly recommend you to go and watch it. And it was also kind enough to help me to understand some of the basics about Blender. And this this brings me to another point which I will dive in later on. The importance of surrounding yourself with like-minded artists and peers, especially the ones who are in the game for a long time. So after learning Blender for two weeks, I, I finally decided to get a PC. So I, I really saw the potential and I really enjoyed the process. I sold my second camera and a lens uh, so I can use that money into getting a PC. And a good friend of mine, MK, helped me to build this PC who's 
master and genius in building PCs and all that nerdy stuff that I cannot actually do any of that. I could see the progress after getting the PC. So that's the, that's the main reason I wanted to mention this. Uh, getting a PC after you know you actually enjoy the process because this is crucial, this is number one. You gotta enjoy it, otherwise it will be a waste of money and uh, you won't be able to do anything with it except playing games. Yeah, it's a timer. For me personally, it's enabled a whole new level of creativity where I'm basically, it's like an open world where I can do anything I want, any composition, any lens, focal length, all of that in my computer, which is absolutely insane. And by the way, if you want to know my computer specs, here are they, not very fancy and not very bad, so something in the middle, but very workable. I just wanna quickly give a big shout out to Musicbed for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Some of you already know about Musicbed, but if you don't, let me demonstrate and I'm sure you'll like what you hear. Musicbed is a highly curated music platform for creators, filmmakers, and film productions. I've been using Musicbed for over two years and personally, it is my favorite place to get music, whether it is for a short film, a YouTube video, or any project that require music. And I'm not just saying this because they sponsored this video. In fact, you can check out all of my previous videos. You'll be surprised how many times I've used their music. Now, if you ask me what makes their platform really stand out from the rest, and the answer is their music quality. The music you find on Musicbed is pretty much unlike anywhere else. By far, they have the highest quality music available because they're working with real talented emerging indie artists and composers, like legit record label quality quality artists and many of whom you can actually hear on the radio. Another point to mention is saving time. You probably know how annoying it can be to search for a music. But with Musicbed it's curated in a way that you don't have to search for hours on end to find a good track because of their intuitive browse and search features that makes it really easy to find the right track for your project. If you're interested to see what I personally like from their music, check out my playlist on Musicbed. If all of this didn't convince you, then I do encourage you to at least create an account and start listening and downloading these watermarks tracks before committing and of course no credit card required but in case if you're interested make sure to use k1 at the checkout to get your first month free when you purchase an annual individual subscription now let's get back to the video the second thing i want to talk about is experience if you have no background experience it is going to be a little bit hard or at least let's say some basic understanding of 3d and you're probably wondering what do you mean by experience so what i mean by experience is i came to the 3d world with a vision mostly coming from my cinematography and photography background. So before I started learning, I already had a vision of what I wanted to create. I already knew how I would use lighting in my advantage, how to combine objects, create depth in these objects. Composition is a big part of it also. So all of that really helps to create a good artwork. And I already had all of that from my photography and cinematography experience. I've been doing photography for almost eight years and cinematography for over a year. And I believe this is a privilege that not many artists have, especially when they start learning a software like this. So it's fair to say that I was only lacking the technique side I already had the vision for it I already knew what I wanted to create that's why if you go to my Instagram right now you can see all of my artworks are highly inspired by the visuals from cinema noir kind of vibe so again if you have no background experience whatsoever you're just seeing this video and you want to start learning 3d without having no experience in any other art form get ready to learn a lot by the time you need to learn how to do the right composition how to take advantage from lighting how to set up a mood and create depth in your objects. These are all important and crucial steps to get a good result with Blender, within 3D in general, I would say. And let's not even talk about understanding the colors. Even understanding the manual setting of a camera can be really helpful within Blender. That's how you're gonna render. You have to choose focal lengths. Keep that in mind. All of that comes with an experience before coming with high expectation. Another thing I wanna 
talk about is the Pareto principle, AKA 20, 80% rule. <laughs> now you're probably wondering what the hell this guy just said. Okay, let, let me get to this. So the trick I use in learning Blender is basically to learn only the things, the tools that will get me and lead me to the result that I want. And this is the trick. So learn the 20%, get to the 80% of the result. It, it's something that I've been applying to a lot of things in my life and it, it helped me a lot in the learning process. So don't focus on learning all the basics. You have to finish the book until you be able to benefit from the book. Same thing applies here. Learn the things you want to learn. In my case, I really like misty, noir, cinematic kind of vibes in my in my creation. So I just focus on that direction and, and I only learned these tools that would help me to get to that result. But in your case, it could be totally different. You might be into animations, cartoonish stuff, and like the sky is limitless with the 3D world. You can pretty much do anything, literally anything you want. And that brings me to my next point, which is having a niche. In other words, having a style for your creation. So when it's come to 3D, it is crucial to sit down and ask yourself a couple questions. And this will help you not to only learn faster and quicker, but also give you a signature style in the bigger picture long term. So take a moment and ask yourself these questions. Okay, I'm going to put it in the screen right here. What do you want to create? Ask yourself, what do you want to create? What is the theme you want to go with? What colors do you like the most? And once you have these answers, you will be more self-aware and you will spend less time goofing around not knowing what to do. But the second option is if you don't have these answer at all, that's fine. Then I suggest you just experiment with it. Even copying other work could be fine to kind of find your style in order to, to, to know who you are. And that also takes time. So again, if you already know what you want to do, it will make the process much faster it will, and you will only learn the things you need to learn in order to create and get to where you want. All right, there's one last thing that I want to talk about is you got to be patient. Just like anything, learning 3D needs time and patience and hours of daily practice. I started learning by the end of January and I haven't skipped a day without practicing or learning. So I already put 100 hours of work into learning and watching videos from the donut one to the apple one and all these videos really help the process but it, again it takes time and patience and you really really need to enjoy the process i remember when i started learning photoshop i thought that was like the hardest thing but when i started learning 3d in blender you know photoshop seems like a piece of cake to me honestly <laughs> and in some ways i really like it because there's always more to learn with 3d you will most likely run into a lot of issues and that gives you daily challenges and excitement you might actually hate the workflow but i personally enjoy solving problems so that works works for me. So one last thing I want to talk about, and I probably mentioned it before, it is your about your circle, like surrounding yourself with like minded artists and peers who are willing to help you to grow. And the least thing you can do, even if you don't like you don't find these people, the least thing you can do is you support them by following them showing them support, engaging with them, asking them if like willing to ask for help is also important, even if they don't respond or something, just try to be out there, show show yourself. And I think just by seeing them posting every day or like once, twice a week, it will also give you some sort of motivation. So try to have a circle, build a community within yourself and uh, don't undermine the power of internet. We live in a century where we can connect with so many cool people within minutes. So keep that in mind. These are all the things that really helped me. And that's it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate you take time and listening to all of this crap. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, guys, keep in mind that the tutorials are coming, potentially a course, which is going to be very exciting. Thanks again to Musicbed for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Before we end this video, I made a guideline PDF where I put all the links and resources that helped me when I started my Blender journey. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description for free. I believe that would be very helpful if you're just starting Blender. Now, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.